there is breaking news as we come on the air tonight. An explosion right here in New York City 24 hours before America's largest 4th of July celebration kicks off. Police say an explosive device that appears to be homemade rocked parts of Central Park today. An unassuming tourist losing part of his leg after accidentally stepping on that device. Authorities quick to say it was not an act of terror, but that blast sent fears soaring. And it is not just here in New York. Heightened security across the country. In the nation's capital, police scanning visitors searching bags ahead of the festivities there and in Chicago an extra 5,000 officers on duty guarding against possible terrorism and gun violence. The investigation into what happened here in New York today still underway and ABC's Marcy Gonzalez leads us off with the latest. Tonight, the serious scare in America's largest city. I have no idea what it was. It sounded like a cannon. An explosion in Central Park. At 10.52 this morning, an 18-year-old Virginia tourist jumping off a rock and landing on an explosive device, partially severing his foot. Two of his friends speaking right after the blast. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know what happened. There was a small explosion and then... Uh, then dust, uh, then dust beyond the caliber of fireworks just based on what we heard. The blast prompting a major police response. The bomb squad and Homeland Security here on the scene. This part of Central Park shut down as officers look for other possible explosives. The explosion that could have been an experiment with fireworks or homemade explosives. We do not have any evidence of a constructed device or commercial grade fireworks. We believe this could have been put here as some sort of experiment. Tonight, police saying the tourists are not suspected of being involved with constructing the device. At this time, we have no evidence that this is related to terrorism. There are no specific credible threats. The security scare highlights the heightened alert people and police are on this holiday weekend. Officers across the country on patrol to prevent a potential attack. They're looking for components for a dirty bomb. From the water to the air, 525 specially trained NYPD counterterrorism officers using radiation detectors, monitoring license plates, video feeds, and people. Be cognizant of perps possibly wearing explosives. And after the deadly terror attack in Istanbul, seven major airports in the U.S. increasing security. Uniformed and undercover officers also closely watching train stations and bus terminals. This weekend in Chicago, thousands of extra police on duty. And in Washington, D.C., officers will be checking bags ahead of tomorrow night's fireworks show. And turning back to that investigation in Central Park, tonight police are looking for more evidence using bomb-sniffing dogs. And that 18-year-old tourist is hospitalized, listed in serious but stable condition. Cecilia? Okay, Marcy Gonzalez leading us off tonight.